Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be on Tomb of Heroes between J Raccoon and Chitin. And apparently I'm still not used to my OBS hotkeys because I keep going to that one image. Yeah, so J Raccoon versus Chitin. J Raccoon is at the east side of the map. He is going for Vekir, while Chitin is on the west side of the map, also going Vekir. So Vekir Mira, that's true. Actually, Chitin did mention to me he was planning on playing Vekir instead of Grekum, instead of his normal Grekum. He's kind of getting sick of Grekum, so he wanted to play Vekir instead and see how they played out. So that's what we're going to see today, is Vekir being played by both sides. I haven't seen a Vekir mirror ever, I think. I can't remember the last time that, that came up. I think, I think I've been in a couple. But other than that, and maybe one involving I think Stahanov plays back here. Yeah, it, it doesn't come up very often. So this is new. This is kind of novel. It's exciting. I've never we haven't seen this in a I can't remember the last time we've seen this. But it is certainly rare. So J Raccoon sending out his scouting forces, his Shin and Tethvir over to the west side of the map, with his Akron as well. While Chitin is now, uh, Kitan is also sending his Shin and Tethvir over, but not as Akron, keeping his Akron in his base, and also getting his economy going. So both players getting economy going, both players getting four LCRPs, so neither player is going to be that focused on getting... Well, getting QP, getting early tech. Neither player is going to be doing any sort of cheese, which makes sense. Tomb of Heroes is the sort of map where you don't do any real cheese. You, you just don't. I mean, it's such a... It's a large enough map that there really isn't any... It's not enough time to actually do any real cheese. It's it's too big. Anyway, infantry going out. One, the Tethvir goes down. Both Tethvirs go down, actually, and Shinvir's battling it out. I think that... I th Oh, it looks like J Raccoons will win, just barely. So J Raccoons slight advantage with, him, with his infantry, while... Chitin, where is, where is his Akron? Because that's really important. Oh, no, sorry. Chitin's Akron is in base. J Raccoon, I meant. Where is his Akron? His Akron is already over here. Actually, it looks like he took the top path instead. Yeah, I went over, took the top path through this little bridge section rather than going down in the bottom valley. And gets through that way without actually encountering the infantry. Nicely done, J Raccoon. Good maneuvering there. Good positioning. Oh, yeah, he actually went through and changed the path in the, as it was going through the valley, so going up from there. Anyway, J Raccoon is... Probably both players are going to be focusing a bit more on tech, maybe a bit more on expansion a bit. Like I said, economy isn't a big focus at the moment, not quite yet. It should be pretty soon, but... Sorry, economy is the focus. I mean, military. Military is not the focus. Economy is the focus, yes. It's always the focus. The early foundation from Chitin, though, and J Raccoon about the same time, or about 10 seconds later, also getting a foundation and getting his QPRP. So both players are progressing at pretty much the same rate, though it looks like Chitin is not building up his QPRP as quickly. Which is rather surprising. Where is... No, there's his attempt to build a QPRP, but that shouldn't work. J Raccoon's... J Raccoon is about a minute down from there. He is at the two-minute mark, and he doesn't really seem to be doing too much different with that. I'm a little curious his exact motivation on that one. Anyway, Kaiden going to be... His Akron's going to be taking enough damage, actually getting killed later on, but he should be echoing that out. So Kaiden is going to be scouting with his Akron as well, so getting into that game of the Akron scouting. But it looks like Jericho is ahead. He has one more QPRP over Kaiden, and well, it's a minute up from there. Kaiden a minute down. No, even a minute up from there, Kaiden does not have the resources, or he just barely has the resources to get that QPRP. So... Right now, I'd say that Jericoon is ahead. Jericoon's about to get Zion Pulses as well at the three minute mark, whereas Kitan, he could get them at the same time, but he doesn't seem to be focusing too much on it. He is Zion Veer. Yeah, this is what we already saw him trying to build his RPs. We're at the two, 242 mark. J Raccoon at this point actually does have his Akron here. He hasn't echoed that out yet. Just keeping it there just to figure out what's coming out when the Zion Pulsers are starting. While. Not much else has really changed. Yep. So, Kaiden is going to be... Where is he? 
Okay, so Kaiden, why am I looking at JRP's base when I'm looking at Kaiden's time? Kaiden is getting himself set up. He has his RP, he has his Debo, he has enough money to build up. Oh, he doesn't have enough money to build up any Zion Pulsers yet. But J Raccoon does at that point in time, although he will have to use it to build a depot, but yes, he actually will have it because Zion Pulsers, this is version 1.4.0.1, and Zion Pulsers are actually made cheaper in I think 1.4.0.0. They all vector vehicles are actually made quite a bit cheaper. So 65 15 rather than 72 16. The QP cost, of course, not too much different, but the LC cost definitely is. And J Raccoon was just double checking the future, but back here at the 322 mark, his depot is setting up while Kitan's actually has set up. No, I retract my previous statement. Kitan appears to be actually ahead. Just barely, but he does actually have his depot up. He has. Now, of course, the better question is, is Jay Raccoon building up Zion Pulsers? And he is! He did build a Zion Pulsar, so it's that Kitan is going for early aerial control center, whereas Jay Raccoon has opted to instead just build a Zion Pulsar and go with that. Let's see here, we have Shinvir and Tethir coming up around here for Jay Raccoon. He's apparently managed to get them out of that fight for a while. I'm a bit surprised that Tethir isn't building up Com Hub. I mean, Jay Raccoon is a bit strapped for cash at the moment, but a Com Hub right here would do wonders for scouting, and also be very difficult for Kitan to find. So I'm just very surprised Jericoon is not actually taking advantage of that. Perhaps he's not used to it. The Com Hub has always been a unit with very high sight range, but it's also been a unit that for its cost wasn't super effective. For, a sight range wasn't that big when you considered its cost and the fact that it was still kind of out of the way to build. But the sight range has been increased quite a lot, so it should be much better. I... I think J Raccoon's just not used to the idea of using one. And here we go, another QPRP for Kitan. So Kitan is 5LC, 3QP. J Raccoon at the same time, or slightly earlier, 5LC, 2QP. He has... where's that Zion Beer? I thought his Zion Beer went up to north, but I do not see it. So I'm going to assume that it is... the Zion Pulsar. And another foundation up to Jericoon could be building an aerial control center, but he has jumped back instead, double checking this fight with Kitan. He's trying to harass he's trying to assassinate the the Akron, probably won't pull it off. The Tethviers do not deal a whole lot of damage, so Kitan can just go back here with his Shinvir Tethvir and kill off the Tethvir here before it deals any real damage. So this is not going to actually do anything. Like I said, the Com Hub would have been a better idea with that Tethvir. Oh well, a little late now. And however. Zion Pulsar is coming in, skip teleporting in here, and Kitan, we're actually looking at his point of view. He does have a Zion Turcher coming up, which will pretty much hard counter the Zion Pulsar. As long as it's in the right position, but it looks like right now it's getting its own skip teleport. And these imagery are going down, while Shinbeer is trying to take care of the Zion Turcher while it is... Well, okay, it's not going to do too much to it. The Foundation's sealing it up. It was trying to take care of it while it was still just building a skip teleport. At least we'll be able to spot it. That's one important thing, because Shinbeer are spotters. The Akron, however, has put itself in a position where it's basically impossible to hit without going right into the center of the base. So the Zion Pulsar needs to retreat. Another Zion Pulsar does, is forthcoming. That was back in the present, sorry. At the 620 mark, rather than the 9 minute mark of the present, or 830 mark of the present. Another Zion Pulsar... No, the same Zion Pulsar is forthcoming. It's just gotten back and gone healed. So yeah, Zion Pulsar... Getting itself healed. Two more Zion Beers, however, so Jericoon could build more Zion Pulsers and is in fact building a Zion Turcher. Two Zion Turchers. Okay, I I suppose that could work. Zion Turchers I've found not as useful as Zion Pulsers in practice. Maybe it's just me, I just haven't found them quite as useful. I know, it sounds a little bit awkward, but yeah, it's just Zion Turchers, for their cost, I was finding that really, you throw in some air units and they're kind of done. And what they do against the ground is done almost better by Zion Pulsers. I mean, against Vekir, it it would work pretty well with all the Zion Pulsers, but against, say, Grekum or Ciso, I haven't found them to be quite as successful of an investment. So, that being said, it actually could work out pretty well with Zion Turchers here. Jericho, jumping back, near the playable past edge. This is back when we saw... We already saw that, actually. That was the Shinvir attacking the Zion Turcher and getting itself killed. And Zion Pulsar moving back, so... Back when Kitan is focused, or Kitan was focused, actually, he jumped back a bit, but at 748 mark, J Raccoon will have quite a few Zion Turchers, and J Raccoon actually appears to be sending his 
Zion Pulsar back in to attack, or at least prep for an attack. No, it is attacking. Or, no, moving further into position. So, it is going to be attacking. But it's not going to be attacking quite yet. It will be attacking soon. Probably with the Zion Turchers here, because the Zion Turchers will help. Especially with Zion Pulsar. No, it's going in that zone! It is going to get itself slaughtered! Not doing anything useful. Unfortunately, not dealing any real... Okay, sorry, dealing some damage. It did actually kill a Zion Pulsar as well. Or kill a Zion Veer? Hold on a sec. Kill the Zion Veer. Not sure they actually killed the Zion Pulsar. Looks like that was just a Zion Veer that was already damaged. Or already not a Zion Pulsar. So it was just a Zion Veer. It was just infantry. That was it. So J Raccoon not really doing too much with that, unfortunately. And looks like ultimately managing to escape with a Zion Veer, but losing it anyway. And I think... See from Kitan's point of view. No, Kitan's point of view also... We see that. So... It would appear that without spotting... No! Is Jericoon going in? He's... I think he might be trying to go into the... No, he's not. He is moving the Zion Beer away. So the Zion Beer has escaped. It can rebuild for slightly cheaper. It can rebuild the Zion Pulsar for slightly cheaper than it had. But that was still a bit of a waste. Having the Zion Pulsars with the Zion Churchers would have been perfect for countering the Zion, the Zion Pulsars and Churchers that Kitan had set up. But apparently he's not going for that. Bit of a shame, but there is Kitan's forces coming in. And Kitan's forces will be... Where's Kitan's forces? There they are. So Kitan's forces are coming in, teleporting in, and just about ready. The Zion Church are actually going in from the north. Not sure why it's going in from the north, but it is going from the north. Because he's not going in, he's not attacking directly yet. A little bit surprised about that, but Jericoon does have two Zion Churchers, so it's not a bad idea. They are cloaked. Why are they cloaked? Is he teleporting them? If he's not teleporting them, why are they cloaked? Because that doesn't really help for defense if they're cloaked. And, let's see here, Zion Veer coming in as well, going down, and we'll be rebuilding. Not sure why Kitan teleported up here, going down. I mean, it looked like he was setting up to do a pincer move with the teleports. And here we go, now he's going for an attack. There we go, Kitan going for an attack, near the play the past edge, and it looks like at the same time, or she said it before, Jericoon also went for an attack, a preemptive counterattack, and dealing quite a bit of damage, actually hitting the Acron directly, while hitting some of the economy as well. And at the same time, this is when Kitan starts his own attack, but Jericoon's Akron is out of position, and Jericoon getting Gay Tech as well. Though, hard to tell how effective that will be. Really, this Zion Turcher needs to move in here and take care of the Akron. That is the priority target. While all these Zion Pulsars, same thing. Kitan needs to move in and actually deal with this. But he's not doing so. Jericoon has Gay Tech. Jericho now can just get teleportation on any unit he has. He can get a slip as well, but now is not really the time to do that. Auto defense having been researched for Titan, and he has a Zion Pulsar as well. Won't be doing too much, but it, every bit counts when it comes to saving that Akron. And finally, Jericho focusing on the Akron. Titan at the same time not focusing on it. Jericho managing to escape with it. So Titan will probably tear down Jericho's base before he manages to find the Akron. While Jericho is halfway done. No, a third of the way done killing Lakisa's four. Kitan, Kitan's Akron is going down, but it probably won't be going down completely in time. Zion Turcher and Zion Pulsar not being able to see this. No, Foundation coming up, just able to see it. And is the Akron going to die? The Akron will not die. The two Foundations are enough to keep healing it more than the Zion Turchers can damage it. So it looks like Jericoon will in fact be losing this game. That's rather unfortunate and... Oh man, that was close, because Jericoon just about killed it. If he had... Had he focused both Zion Churchers initially on that Akron, he would have won the game just then. That is painful. So now Kitan is really just tearing apart Jericho's base, and that'll be about it. So, yeah, that... Oh, man, that is painful. That is really, really painful. But hey, at least Jericho had quite a bit of cash in stores. He's able to rebuild somewhat, getting his Shin Beer down at the south and rebuilding up a depot. Get more Zion Churches. However, this the Akron's fully healed up. Like all the damage he dealt was completely wasted. Pretty much just wasted all that cash. And that that is painful. And of course, really Kitan has this. Jericho just surrenders. Not even gonna try it. He's he knows he's done. So, that was the game. I hope you enjoyed that one. And we're moving on to 
a third game in a moment, so stay tuned after this. Just wait for Jerry Coon to actually do a surrender, and then I will call this one. But yeah, so that importance of unit control and of target firing when it comes to the Akron. I mean, I suppose one could argue that you would want to auto-target -tar the Akron, but I don't think the design... Now, the Challenger was in range, but eh. It's part of what you do. You have to be careful about how you handle this stuff. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that, and we'll have, like I said, very shortly, another game coming up, and that'll probably be it for tonight. Oh, I see. It looks like Kite actually has an issue with lag that may have caused a problem there. However, still nicely done. Well, I don't know, nicely done Kaiden or just I mean, he that was a clutch defense. I'm not going to I'm not going to diminish that at all. Kaiden did pull off a very clutch defense. So, good for him. That was that part that was well done. And there we go. Jay Raccoon has officially surrendered and Kaiden winning. So, that was another game. And we'll be back shortly. So, stay tuned.